Hello class, today we are looking at a really cool example of how bad polynomials on top of polynomials, aka rational functions, how bad they can get. So you should have on a piece of paper in front of you uh, a fraction where the numerator is x minus 4 parentheses and x to the fourth minus 16 parentheses. That's the numerator. And then in the denominator, we've got x minus 4 in parentheses and x squared minus 9 in, uh, also in parentheses. So obviously, obviously, the x minus 4 is going to cancel. And that's going to make this hole that you're seeing right here. The x minus 4 in the numerator and the x minus 4 in the denominator, those cancel and they make a hole when x equals 4. But also, if you factor the top, then you see that there is a spot where you get x minus 2, x plus 2, x squared plus 4. And the x minus 2 makes this x-intercept right here at 2. And the x plus 2 makes this intercept right here at minus 2. The denominator factors into x minus 3, x plus 3. And the x minus 3 makes this asymptote at positive 3. Why? Well, because if you try to plug in 3, you're going to then be dividing by a 0, which graphically we can represent as an asymptote. Then over here, this is where the asymptote from the x plus 3 comes from, that the, again, trying to divide by 0 makes an asymptote. But now, the craziest part is that if you divide the numerator by the denominator, then you get x squared plus 9 with a remainder. And that makes this whole big parabolic asymptote. That this is x squared plus 9 uh, as an asymptote. So this is, this, is, this is crazy here. We've got two vertical asymptotes. We have no horizontal asymptote, but we have this enormous parabolic asymptote instead. And we have a hole. So these are all crazy different kinds of features. We've got x-intercepts. Uh, the y-intercept, right where I'm standing, is uh, from when we plug in x equals 0. That's where we can find the x-intercept. But there's all kinds of amazing behavior that we can see from our study of polynomials. And then we just sort of have to expand that to say what happens now when you try to divide by these zeros. So I hope this is uh, help to you. and. I'll see you in class.